Toronto Raptors. Look at this roster. Boom. What's good, guys? Prince Sports here coming at you with another one. This is the way. NBA season is just a couple weeks away. It starts in October. Media Day is in October. Preseason in October. And we come down to this point that Dame Dollar News and dealings and sitting at the round table and talking about what is the best possible destination for Dame Dollar. The Blazers are now looking to get rid of him, right? But it, is it too late? Because you had your chance <clears throat> to get rid of Dame all off season long. But now you want to wait until the October. We painted ourselves into a corner. And now we have to paint ourselves out. And according to our reports, they want Dame gone. No later than October 2nd because it's media day. So if that's the case, Toronto Raptors have thrown themselves in the mix. Now the Toronto Raptors is a great basketball team, right? They won the championship a couple years, years ago. They rebuilding again. And in order for them to pull off a trade with Portland, they got some enticing pieces. But I think they're going to have to get a third team involved for draft picks. Because if you're a team like Portland, you're going to want draft picks. And if you can't get draft picks, you may call this deal off. But you got Scotty Barnes. You got um, Anna Bio. Okay, now one of those two guys got to go. All right. If you look at championship contending teams, they literally don't win with young players. So the most easiest thing to do is get rid of Scotty Barnes. But Toronto is so held up. They so, you know, infatuated with this kid. They want to keep him. They think he's going to develop into something good. But you got um, Anabayo right there. He, he's a good defensive basketball player, right? And they may need that because he could cover up Dame's flaws. But the problem is, if you trade for him, Portland will only keep him for one year. Then he could walk for nothing. So he cannot leave. By default, he has to stay on the Toronto Raptors. And he could cause them another problem because if Toronto Raptors don't give him the bag, he could walk while Dame is already on that team. That's problematic within itself. So Pascal has to stay, but... Scotty Barnes and OG Abayo, one of those two got to leave. You can't get rid of both of them. You got to keep at least one. And Gary Trent Jr. down the bottom of the list, he got to go to. Okay, there's a lot of problematic situations to Dame going on to Toronto. But let's just say he's committed to going to Toronto. Let's just say either or, Scotty or um, OG and Abayo is committed to going to staying on the Raptors my best bet is entice it a little bit Gary Trent Jr. gotta go so you get him then you get Scotty Barnes then you have to try to get a dirt team involved which makes the trade even harder for some draft picks now they do got a protected draft pick right but they're gonna have to tank to even make that draft pick even worth it okay so you got Anabayo, Pascal Siakam, Dame Dollar, and Pirtle. Those four are a good starting pieces to help you go to the NBA Finals. Now, if you put Dame on Toronto, they're automatically a playoff contending team. Are they a title contending team is the question, and most likely you may say no. But if the Miami Heat can make it to the NBA Finals, then maybe, just maybe, the Toronto Raptors could do that if they're clicking on all cylinders. Because Pascal Siakam would be the best player that Dame Dollar has ever played with. Then you could bind him with uh, uh, Anabaya or Scotty Barnes, whatever one stays. Boom, you got yourself a good, a good uh, trio right there, right? Now, if you do keep Barnes, he's so cheap. He's under contract. You save so much money under the salary cap 
that you could go out there and if a guy like Giannis wants to leave, he's good friends with Toronto Raptors, uh, GM, guess what? You could probably land a guy like Giannis because you're going to have enough money to afford him and still keep some of your pieces that you already get. All right. Now, you may have to trade, do a sign and trade on Pascal Siakam if the money don't line up, but he didn't get paid yet. He's set to get paid. If he does the Draymond Green and take a pay cut, he could end up being on the same team with Giannis and Dame Dollar. So a year from now, there'd be real title contenders. But going into next season, it'd be another wasted year for Dame Dollar. He wants to compete for a championship right now. But there's no really good team that he could go to that he could turn them into overnight title contenders if you look at it. There's really no team. So what you could do if you're Dame Dollar is you're going to have to build it from the ground up. If you build it, it will come. Toronto Raptors is a team that you should not overlook. Because not only did I say all those things could possibly happen, but here's the thing. If you go to Toronto next season, that trio that you have doesn't make it a super team. It makes it a good, solid team, and it puts you in position to overcome a team like Philly that's in disarray. Milwaukee's getting old. Uh, Miami lost some key uh, role players. You're right there in the mix. The only team that you're going to have fits with is probably Boston. So, in the East that's kind of weak, why not want to go to Toronto? It's still a better roster than what you got in Portland, in a Western Conference, in a Stat Conference, where you're most likely going to go nowhere. But at least in, Portland, at least in Toronto, the six, you can hang out with Drake, <laughs> and you could perhaps go to the NBA Finals. And maybe you might get lucky. An injury or two happens. You're going to be underdogs. But you may end up coming out on top and winning an NBA championship. You couldn't do it for New York. But guess what? You don't have to go, you don't have to, go to my New York Knicks. But what you do have to do is wherever you get traded to, is you better make sure your ass pit that team in contention to winning a championship. That 32 points that you averaged last season... It better be put into work this season. Prince Sports to help. Peace. We've done it here before and we're going to do it again. Amen.